What is up vapesters, welcome back. In this video we'll be looking at the Aspire K2 Quick Starter Kit. They've also brought out the K3 and the K4. The K3 is slightly higher ohmage with a bigger battery and the K4 is sub-ohming with a slightly bigger battery once again. But we'll have a closer look at the K2 and we'll do an up close and personal now. Okay guys, so here we have the Aspire K2 packaging. Okay, so under the lid we have the kit itself, which is the tank and the mod. We also have some goodies under here, so let's open this up. We have got a warning card, we've also got a warranty card, we've also got a manual, and we've got a USB charger and a spare coil. Okay guys, so here we have the K2 Aspire tank, starting at the top and working our way down. The top has a removable 510 drip tip, which is made out of plastic and has one o-ring to keep it in place, and it works really well. The tank holds 1.8 mils of juice, which lasted me about two days. The coil is 1.6 ohms, and that is also the same for the spare. The airflow is non-adjustable, however it is quite tight, and I usually like uh, quite a lot of airflow, but it worked really well for me. The bottom has a 510 pin with really clean threads. Taking apart the tank is actually really easy because the threads are so clean. All you do is pinch the top and the bottom and twist the top and it comes apart very easily. The space between the chimney and the glass is actually really small so filling up can be quite difficult but if you take it slow it's fine. The coil has got four holes for sucking in that juice and I actually found the coil really nice. It's 1.6 ohms and a little plastic stop on the top for spit back and yeah it works really well. Okay guys so here is the mod there is not too much to tell it has a carbon fiber appearance an 800 mAh capacity battery the output is 5.5 volts the fire button is 5 clicks to turn on 5 clicks to turn off and when you fire it it has a pulsing light the top has a non-adjustable 510 connection which has very clean threads and the bottom has a USB charging port before we go into pros and cons, I just want to say a massive thank you to the sponsor of this video, eSig Aspire, for sending me this kit to review. Please go check out their website and social media, links will be down below. If you also go on their website, you can see new products coming out, like the Plato or the Plateau, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's the answer to the Kanga knee box, which I'll be reviewing shortly. Hopefully I can get my hands on one of them and review it side by side to tell you which one I think is best, but yeah, go check that out. Okay guys, pros and cons time. To be honest, there really isn't many cons. The only things to mention is the airflow is non-adjustable and the wattage is non-adjustable, but you probably already knew that. The positives though, the flavor is actually really, really good. The battery life is really good, it lasts a long time. And the tank, uh, it lasts me a long time because it's above ohm tank. Let's quickly give it a vape to show you cloud production. That is nice, it's really good flavour and also the cloud production is really good for an above ohm tank. I've got to say I've actually been really impressed with this. Because I'm a sub ohm vapour, things like this with a uh, tighter airflow and also an above ohm coil, I'm usually a bit like, it's not going to be as good. But this comes really close. I have to say, if I was a starter, this would be a perfect star kit, it really would be. So the question, would I go out and buy one? The answer would be probably no because it is aimed at starters, but with the price point being $29.99, that's what eSig Aspire is selling it for, links down below. That is a great price, and also if I was starting out or just quitting smoking or advising someone what they should buy if they were just quitting smoking and wanting to get into vaping, this is your guy. This is your guy 100%. If you're also looking at the K3, and K4. Honestly, probably the K2 might be more tailored to people that have just quit because it is lighter, it's smaller, it's neater, and I think the the whole round package is more aimed at people just quitting smoking and just want to start vaping. I think this is perfect. 
For me personally, out of the three, the K2, the K3 and the K4, I've probably gone for the K4 because it's sub ohming and I've been vaping for a while and that's more what I'm into. So if you guys are vapors that have been vaping for quite a few years and like sub ohming, the K4 is probably for you. If you've just started smoke as well, just started smoking, don't smoke. If you just started vaping, this is probably for you. This is your guy. It is really good. I really do like it. Okay guys, that's the video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and please like this video. And I'll see you guys next time.